Hello. This is another bit of coverage of the Surface Book, specifically about the charging unit and the actual mechanism of opening and shutting the lid. Um, right now, this has not really been on very long. I've just come in and turned it on. It's been on charge, and the fan's running. So it's not been in anything. It's idle. But this fan is running. I can feel the vibration of the fan. The, whatever's in here isn't. It isn't vibrating here like I've described. But it is vibrating here, and you just run your finger along it. You can feel the strange resonance almost. It's very odd. Um, and when it's happening in this base unit and you're typing away, you can feel it in the palms of your hand. It's just, it's, it's not harmful, I don't think. It's not going to give you, you know, vibration white knuckle, but it's going to really distract you while you're working. Um, but the first thing I'm really going to look at is the light here means it's charging or it's using power. And um, they've got in the power brick, as I've shown you, the USB connector. And I have my perfectly standard USB charging cable. If I plug this into my hub, which is where it generally is plugged into, so this is an unpowered hub, it's just connected directly to my PC, and we look at my phone, we see it's not charging, and we plug it in, and it now says charging, and it says connected as USB device. Okay, and it's solid, it stays charging. Okay, so I'll leave that there so you know I've not changed it. So here's the same cable, it's exactly the same cable, and we're going to plug it into the power brick. That way around, straight in, no problem. It's, it's not very firmly fitting, but it's firm enough. And now we'll plug the other half into my phone. Okay, so charging, not charging, charging, not charging, charging not charging and you'll see that this coincides with this and I can't charge my device okay and you think oh okay well you can't charge it because we've got it plugged in here well it's unplugged there charging not charging charging not charging so this has happened on multiple cables okay here's a different cable it's a completely different color okay we we'll take that one out and plug this one in. Okay, and we've got the other end here. And um, this is a multi cable. You'll see I've got three different ends, and I've tried it with three different devices. Okay, so we we'll use this one and plug it in. Charging, not charging, charging, not charging. So you think, okay, I'll plug that back in there. Obviously, this is bi directional as well. This could be either way. So there we go. You can see. So yeah, this is utterly pointless. This, this is rubbish, junk. It's completely pointless. It doesn't charge your devices properly. Um, and I've tried, as I say, I've tried multiple cables. I've tried multiple devices. I don't see the point. So this is yet another negative mark on a thirteen hundred pound piece of equipment. Um, it can't charge your phone. So, what's the point? What is the real point of this? So, okay, we've got a nice pink screen here, and the wife would love it, I'm sure. But we close the lid. It doesn't really matter what I'm doing with it. In fact, we don't even need any of this plugged in now, okay? So, we're out working. Obviously, we've got the pen here, which is slightly in the way. Um, let's try and open it. You see the bevel? I can't pick it up. I can't open it. You know, I can just, if I'm two-handed, going to be able to open it, but can't get that open. And even then, it's not easy. There, it's not easy. The bottom of the base is being picked up and dropped. So this this plate is being picked up and dropped. By the, obviously, it's magnetically shutting. And those there are little um, felt pads just here and here, but they are tiny, tiny felt pads. I wouldn't want to say they're going to last very long. So if you're going to do another version to open it, which is to run the finger along here, so if you're going to run your finger down here to lift, so if I do that, so you've got to do it both sides, like that, you see? It's quite. It's a struggle with the pen. If I lose the pen, it's a little bit easier, okay? But I've had to run my fingers right along this edge, potentially taking that off, potentially rubbing this, potentially all sorts to the, to the screen, again, You've got the camera here that's in danger of being whacked or smacked while you're doing that. 
all in all, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, it's a beautiful machine, but I'm not impressed. I mean, if we look here as well, can we see? Can you see this where already here? The pads themselves, so if I actually get something to point with, so the pad here is fairly, oh, I'm getting shot, sorry. This is getting fairly worn. This actually, this is, there's something here is magnetic. Oh, it's the power connector. Of course, the power connector is magnetic. But can you see this wear on this on this bevel here? This darker piece of this piece of the um, here, that is not part of the unit and wasn't there originally. And if we look at the other veins that aren't in contact with the desk, they're perfectly shiny. It's just that first one where it has to hit. Now, other reviewers have pointed that out. And if we watch carefully as it opens, if you watch this first piece, you see it presses down. By this point, it's pressing down. And then by this point, it's actually levering up. So the first one is taking the brunt of the weight, whereas the other two aren't. Add to it then that you have to push this thing around, you're pushing it to lift it, you're pushing it to you know connect to this uh, display port. The USB ports are still the worst part on it. Not fantastic. This I've heard uh, from someone else is identically placed to I certain iPad models that it would sit in the um, sit in the uh, sort of you know you're holding it this way up and, and this is where the three and a half inch jack is I've heard that, that is pretty standard um, so we're not going to argue about that too much uh, something that someone else pointed out to me was that though you can rotate this all the way over um, you'd have to if you were a left-handed user um, perhaps because if you're this way round for a uh, Sorry, yeah. If you're this way around for a right-handed user, sorry, you're putting your fingers over these lenses. You're putting all sorts of marks on the lenses. Not directly, of course. You're still touching the touchscreen glass, but it's much better to use it that way up. So, yeah, it was an interesting point that they made. Um, holding this, again, has been a nightmare. Holding it while you're using it has been terrible. Making notes on it is terrible. Um, if we... Uh, just sign on. I've never actually signed on this way, so we'll. Ha! And you can't use the handwriting one for the for the logon. So let me just put my password in. Password is incorrect. There we go. So we're in. So the next piece of information. So we're on the settings screen now. This is a Windows Seven settings item, and I am completely aware that it's a Windows Seven settings item for you. Um, but it's something you guys, I think, need to be aware of. This is set to four minutes while on battery and not to turn off while it's on power. Okay. For Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're currently Saturday. I put this in its case. Okay, so I put it in this very case, okay, and I put it in a bag, my work bag, and when I came to it, when I came back, this was flat, it would not turn on, and the only thing I could do was charge it for a couple of hours before I could turn it on, and even then, of course, you've got the two batteries to wait for, and it takes between 8 and 10 hours to fully charge, 8 and 10 hours to fully charge, I'll say that again, because... It had turned on at 3.34 in the morning, exactly 3.34, and done a Windows update. It had pre-cached the update and decided that was a good time to turn on and update. Now, fair enough, that is a Windows 10 setting. But this thing knows to turn off after four minutes on battery. So it turned itself on, did a Windows update, and stayed on. That's a, it's a bug. But I can only blame this unit and I can only blame this operating system. And guess what? They were both by Microsoft. So what are they doing? So anyway, uh, at the fear of this becoming a bit of a hand puppet style video, opening and closing it is terrible. Um, rotation stuff is still terrible with touching these. Um, I mean, constant fear. See, even then, I've tried to shut it a lot. I'm trying to pull that towards me. And, you know, I can't... I have to hold it and shut it. You know, I have to hold it to get it to a certain point. 
yes. you know and if i'm not going to hold it if i did have this hand um you know if this hand wasn't free or the secondary hand wasn't free the only way to close that is to push down the push down and twist which of course exacerbates the scuffing so yeah all in all not fantastic now the next video I'm going to do on this is about its performance and I have been playing with the performance regarding video specifically live streaming like with this very application you're looking at right now exactly the same settings on this unit let me just say all hell broke loose but I'm yet to tinker I'm yet to tweak this remember is still the base unit there is no dedicated graphics card on it but even so the performance was appalling the heat was terrible, the battery ran out, and this is something that they vaunt this unit for. They have, um, it, not this unit, it might be a very similar unit in this range, but the Surface range, if you know the current TV advert, it's a young lady going through a marketplace, she's taking pictures, she's using the external camera, she's then docking it when she gets home, so she's walking around just with the top, then she docks it at home for the power or whatever, and starts to vlog from her kitchen, or sorry, vlog from her kitchen. I don't think it's possible with this unit, which is ironic considering it's in the advert. So for now, that's the end of this one. This is, I think, video number four in the series about the unit. The next one will probably come live from this desktop, so from this actual unit.